reaction to Steve Cohen's tweet this morning? Hey, Steve. Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I'm aware. I'm not, I'm not a Twitter guy, but I, I'm aware of, uh, of the tweet uh, from Steve. Uh, and hey, listen, you know, we're working really hard every day. Uh, you know, we're, we're trying to find our way uh, uh, to win some games. And, you know, we have this game today against the Giants again, who's one of the best teams in baseball right now. And, uh, you know, we're working hard. And, you know, his reference to, uh, to our offense is one of the areas that we're working really hard to improve on. And, um, and every day we want to improve our approach. We share how our approach uh, is intended to be. Uh, he hasn't been there the whole uh, season consistently. So, you know, getting on base, slugging um, some balls is something that we haven't done as much, and, but we, we, we're working on doing it, right? And uh, we have guys that have done it in the past, and we feel that they, they, can, they can still do it, right, this season. So we're working really hard, and, you know, we're expecting the guys to come in today and have that going. So, you know, that's, that's my reaction to it. It's just, uh, you know, it, it's what's happening Um Right now, to us, is one of the areas, like I said. So, you know, we just, we're just working hard. You referenced that team approach a little bit. And, you know, over the last couple of years, it was, it was very clear what the approach was, a little more old school, you know, line drive hitting, situational hitting. I guess, how would you describe what the team approach is intended to be under this new group of, of hitting coaches? Well, you know, in the last last couple of years, I thought, yes, we spray the ball, uh, um, and uh, there's connection uh, at bat to a bat, uh, hitter to hitter, uh, in their approach. And uh, um, but the the group that we have here grew up uh, with the approach of knowing the strike zone really well, um, knowing that the byproduct it was, it was going to be walking. And, uh, but before that, that was going to narrow it to the zone where you can do damage and guys can hit for power. So the blend of getting on base and hitting for power, it's the approach that's been preached to a lot of the guys that are here on this, on this team. They, they came through a minor league system where that, that was preached to them. So, um, even though last couple of years, you know, we, we had the spray the ball, make contact, put the ball in play, you know, all those things at the big league level, like those guys develop in the minor leagues with the, with the approach that uh, we're preaching them um, today, you know? So uh, our hitting coaches, you know, right now are a little bit more thoroughly with data than we were in the past. Uh, there's more information being exhausted to the guys. That would be the only difference. Uh, but as far as like their approach and the identity that we have offensively, like this is being preached to a lot of the guys coming up throughout our minor league system. So um, there's, there's not a lot of difference there. Uh, you know, the guys came to the big leagues and I, I think their offense was the key thing that got them to the big leagues. Guys like Alonzo, guys like Conforto, guys like McNeil, uh, like Dom, those guys hit their way through the minors, Nimo, uh, with this approach. So, you know, similar approach that we're targeting today, you know, which is uh, uh, the getting on base and hitting for, for power. These guys have done it in the past. I mean, you just... Haven't done it this year a lot. Petey's got his share of homers, but there are other guys that should have more, probably homers, doubles, uh, and walk rate should be a little higher. So we're that's what we're working on hard just to get those individuals and others, you know, to be to be uh, to be doing that approach. Mike Puma, your line is open. Louis, have you spoken to Steve at all lately uh, about the offense about or about the comment he made? Uh, on Twitter? No, 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 we, have, we haven't talked about that. Um, you know, I, I'm just aware of the tweet and I understand where he's coming from, you know, which is what I, what I shared earlier with Steve. Does this feel like an attack on anybody, players, coaches, manager, anybody? I mean, we, we all got to be whole, uh, held accountable, right, for, uh, for the, team's, uh, the team performance. Um, and I think the players are very vulnerable. They come here and say that they're frustrated. Some of them feel that they're underperforming and they're working really hard. So, I mean, we're all in, in this. So it doesn't single out one player. It doesn't single out one coach. I mean, we, at the end of the day, we, we gotta, we gotta win games. You know, some areas right now are performing better than others. Uh, but 
you know, we're, we're all being held accountable, right. For, uh, for the team, uh, the team's performance at the end of the day. So we don't feel like a single person be, being accountable, uh, uh, attacked. I mean, we're all being accountable here and we just got to work, uh, be cross functional. Everyone just give give ideas and think of different things where we, can, where we can find this approach that we know that we can do and we've been working hard to get to. Thank you. Next question is from Ian O'Connor. So Luis, I was just wondering if you feel there are times when a boss criticizes uh, players or the manager, a team in general, that that might have actually a positive impact on the team just changing the dynamic when when team is losing do you think it's possible that when a steve cohen tweets something like this it could actually make a difference in a positive way yes 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 he does because a lot of the guys know steve here uh I, you know i got to know steve as well so when i say that i know where he's coming from i mean we understand the message and i mean this is the kind of impact that could do to the group here uh you know the group that's been vulnerable and uh so the sense of um you know, working hard in the area that we want to improve or one of the areas that we want to improve the most you know which is our offense is is there so now you know it's being called called out public you know steve is a guy that uh you know will communicate publicly uh like that and it also communicate with each guy here uh one-on-one -on -one. so you know we understand what he's coming from and i'm sure the guys do as well so this this can this can definitely cause a, a a positive impact on the team just to for the sense of awareness and you know we're working us hard I mean we're working really hard every day I know you know I see the guys doing I see our hitting coaches doing I see other coaches just being cross functional too uh, just helping out you know from an offensive standpoint you know just to to get the guys on track. Thank you. 